According to the latest quarterly report by the Real Estate Institute of Tasmania REIT, median house prices in Hobart are down, properties are taking longer to sell, and investors are turning to other states to buy. Only a few months ago, property in Hobart was being snapped up at a record rate. But now, as with the rest of Australia, the tide has turned. REIT President Tony College said Tasmania property is starting to cool. He stated, If the market is a clock, and 12pm is when it's at its peak, we've probably moved to around 12.30pm. People are saying that the prices are very high and they're not prepared to continue paying over-the-top prices for real estate across the state. I don't think the drop in the market will be significant compared to what has happened on some of the mainland centres, simply because there is a shortage of properties for sale. According to their latest report, house sales in Greater Hobart have fallen 16% in the past year. Median house prices are down 1.7%. Mr College also stated that properties are taking longer to sell. He said, In March 2018, it was just taking a bit over two to two and a half weeks for a property to sell, and it's now pushing out to the four-week mark. He said that investor purchases are down from about 22% over the last four years to 16% last quarter. We have noticed a shift in investment activity in the state. Prices have dropped quite significantly in other parts of Australia, so investors are looking at options where they can get into those markets. While the market is down in those regions, they're looking to capitalise there, rather than buying at the top of the market as is happening here. He also talked about the looming rental crisis in Tasmania. He said, Rents have gone up significantly because of demand, and it's really hard to push them up much higher because of the affordability factor. At the moment, the rental sector is about 30% of our market, and 70% is owner-occupiers. We really needed to see that rental sector grow from 30% to 40% to be able to accommodate a lot of the demand that we've got in the marketplace. So with investors now leaving in that significant number, we'll probably see the rental share go down to 27-28%, to which is not what we wanted to happen. But thanks to the investor exodus, this has created potential opportunities for first-home buyers. Mr College said, With the investors moving out of the market, it's created opportunities for first-home buyers and we've seen significant growth in the number of first-home buyers in the market. We've seen first home buyers go from 11% in the last four to five years up to 17% this quarter, so that's a significant increase. And the median price they're buying property at is around $330,000. Head up to the mainland and we can see that Sydney median house prices are on track to fall below $1 million for the first time in four years. The latest quarterly report by property website Domain shows that Sydney's median house price is now $1,027,962, which is down 3% over the past three months. The report stated, Sydney's current property downturn is the sharpest in more than two decades. It is yet to surpass the duration of the 2004-2006 slump, but it is coming close to being the longest. Sydney house prices have fallen 14.3% from the mid-2017 peak. If the pace of quarterly decline remains, prices are likely to dip below $1 million in the coming quarter. A six-figure median house price has not been recorded in four years. Sydney unit prices have fallen 9.9% from the mid-2017 peak. For the first time in three years, unit prices are below $700,000. Domain Senior Research Analyst Nicola Powell commented on the suspected reasons for the downturn. She said, Ultimately, obtaining a home loan is more challenging, and what that has translated into is there are fewer buyers in the market, because buyers are having to meet more stringent lending conditions. Some buyers are unable to get finance, and if they can get finance, their borrowing capacity has been reduced. Ms Powell also mentioned that prices will probably continue to fall for the rest of the year. She said that the potential for an interest rate cut could possibly spur on the market, but not by much. She said, There is wariness amongst buyers. I think there is renewed interest, but buyers out there, they're smart. They're knowledgeable in the fact that the market has been softening for some time, and I think they don't want to overpay. And that's the current state of the Sydney and Hobart property markets. The Sydney to Hobart is a famous yacht race and is widely considered to be one of the most difficult yacht races in the world, but the current property price race is not a race that anybody wants to win. It's a race to the bottom.